Companies and agencies across the space industry are facing a workforce crisis. They need to fill jobs as the market experiences tremendous growth. Our Devin Karp reports on what businesses and schools are doing to help. I'm at the Space Symposium here at the Broadmoor Hotel in Colorado Springs, where hundreds of aerospace companies and space agencies are coming together to discuss challenges they're currently facing and solutions for the future. A big topic of conversation at this year's symposium, how to fill gaps in the workforce. It's almost a crisis point. As the aerospace industry boasts growth that hasn't been seen since the 1950s, the current workforce is already starting to see some problems. Right, where we are losing uh, the, that generation, they are retiring. Um, and at the same time, the graduates from a STEM perspective on this technical front, um, are, are, uh, the, the numbers are reducing. 29 different companies partnered together to create Space Workforce 2030. It's a collective effort to boost the future workforce, to prioritize hiring women and people of color, and to encourage students to think about space as a job. That has been a challenge throughout my career. The chair of mechanical and aerospace engineering at UCCS tells me it's always been hard to fill highly skilled aerospace jobs, but with massive public and private expansion, it's a problem that can't be ignored anymore. Um, we started our own undergraduate in aerospace engineering at the urging of local industry last fall. The new program is set to graduate its first class of students next spring, hoping to send them to one of the more than 250 local space companies in Southern Colorado and beyond. The National Bureau of Labor and Statistics predicts 3% increase over the next 10 years. Southern Colorado has traditionally outpaced the national averages and all indications are that that's going to continue. Space Workforce 2030 is inviting fourth and fifth grade classrooms across the country to join in on National Space Day. It's happening May 3rd and teachers can get access to materials to teach students about science and the future of aerospace. We've got a link for you to sign up for that on KOAA.com. But for now in Colorado Springs, I'm Devin Karp, News 5.